Greetings, unsettled souls! Go! Welcome to the correct views. Guys, I've got a story for you guys. Never mind. Try not to pay any attention to that. That's the sound of Mayor Lightfoot's. God, that's. that's oh. Oh, it's terrible. Guys, I'm sorry. It's the sound of Mayor Lightfoot's gun band working. So don't pay any attention to... I, I, don't pay any attention at all. It's the sound of the gun band working. Um, she's from Matson, Ohio, too. What a shame. This is from Chicago.cbssocial.com. I was screaming, please stop, stop. A woman describing a woman describes pain as horror as she was brutally beaten by a group of teens downtown this past weekend. Now Chicago is much safer uh, excuse me, much safer because of because of the gun ban. Um, we know now that if the criminals have turned all their guns in. A woman was begging for her attack excuse me, for her attackers to stop. But they just kept swinging, uh, punching her in the face. Oh, thank God the gun ban worked. Days after the Chicago woman was thrown to the ground by a group of teen assailants downtown, she talked only to CB2's Jemont Tari. A The woman and her boyfriend were on their way to the Chicago Transit Authority Red Line at State Street and Jackson Boulevard Saturday night. It says that they were waiting for the elevator at the ground level to go down to the platform, but they never made it. Instead, it says trouble found them, surrounded them, and attacked them. I was screaming, please stop, the woman said. The woman screamed in desperation as she was attacked around 11.30 p.m. on Saturday. You know, in the city that's safe, because the wonderful, brilliant, uh, and might I say uh, racist against whites mayor, has made sure that criminals have turned all their guns in and now they're all living in peace. And it seems that even if you don't have a gun, the good thing is you're not able to beat a woman to the ground. That's so positive. Not only have we taken the guns away and there's no gun violence, but now it seems that that, that violence has ended. It, oh, wait a minute. That's not what it says. It says... If this area is not safe, where are the cops, the woman said. I guess she's not praising Lightfoot. I must have read that wrong. I'm surprised, like this happening in the loop. I heard the loop is a nice place. Well, maybe it's not. But after coming downtown for a date and then being attacked by a group of teens, the woman has been left severely injured. Thank you, Mayor Lightfoot. I need plastic surgery because the bones are broke and still bleeding inside, the woman said. Pause. Why did she have to suffer this? Why are we letting criminals back out on the streets in our major cities? She has the kind of facial injuries which we covered yesterday when uh, Bassett from the Athletics got hit on the right side of his cheek. They can't even do surgery on him because he was hit with a 100.1 mile an hour fastball that was ricocheted back to him. That's how badly they beat her. Let that sink in. Don't just... I mean, I'm a fan of horror movies. This is real. Let that sink in. She said she needs plastic surgery. She probably can't get it now because the swelling hasn't gone down. The scars and bruising are concealed behind the shades the woman now wears over her eyes, but the pain is deeper. I was saying, why? Asking, why did you do that to me? The woman said. Two female, two, excuse me, two male attackers initially approached the woman's boyfriend. He ignored them and they clocked him over the head from behind. Then I said, oh, that's not safe. We have to run. Then I ran. They're chasing. There came more like seven or nine. They kept chasing me, the woman said. Where are all the people who care about women's rights? Where are they when it happens in one of the liberal safe havens, which they put together? With all these women's rights groups and all these trans rights groups and all these supposed human rights, you don't care about human rights, 
rights? Where are the human rights groups now? That their policies have failed their city, their country, and their people. Videos from an Uber driver, since we can't count on the media to be there, uh, passing by picks up in the middle of the attack. The woman said teenage girls were throwing punches too. The girl she take the girl she take me by the hair, pulled me down, the woman said. I couldn't see anything or how many were hitting me. They kept punching me in the face harder. Let somebody grab me by the hair. There's a few nice uh, ways to break an elbow with that. The video shows the woman collapse in the middle of the street, clearly not knowing how to break an elbow with it. Her boyfriend tried pulling her to safety, but she said that she was disoriented. The one thing I was thinking about is I need to save my life. Lives are in danger because of liberal policies, according to people who are being attacked there. Terry said, had it not been for the Uber driver having compassion, the woman answered, they were going to continue to hurt us. She wants to know uh, where four other attacks by the same group were happening, maybe because they're teenagers. But why is it allowed to happen? Why is no one in custody? Look at this, guys. Well, I'm only on two. She was begging for them to stop, but they just kept swinging, punching her in the face. A Chicago woman thrown to the ground by a group of teens downtown. Out of the hospital tonight, talking only to our Jermont Terry. Liberalism in action! Jermont. Good evening, Brad and Erica. That woman and her boyfriend were heading to hop on the red line. In fact, they were waiting for the elevator to the platform, but they never made it. That's when trouble found them, surrounded them, and attacked them. Oh, screaming, please, stop, stop. Screams of desperation from this woman. That's her getting attacked last weekend in the Loop at State and Jackson. I'm so proud, like, this is happening in the Loop. I heard the Loop is a nice place. Yeah, take a look at how she now looks after coming downtown for a date. I had no. plastic surgery because the bone is Broke. I'm still bleeding inside. And behind. Alright, I'll let that go for a second. Hold on. Yeah, that's gotta go. Maybe not. Alright, now I'm frozen. Friends, does she sound like a, an evil white person to you? Because she's not. She's clearly Hispanic. But I thought that liberals cared about minorities. Who cared about her? Anybody care about her? Anybody in authority care about her? Chances are that a GoFundMe, God willing, page or something will help her. The people will care. Where's the authorities that care? They were the ones that promised people like her and all of us that if they took the guns away, that this would stop. Well, if she had been armed, she wouldn't be needing surgery, would she? So perhaps Mayor Lightfoot does not have the correct view. Perhaps, yeah, for sure. You got the correct view here, so your job is to share it. Good night, friends. Thank you for doing so. I don't take you for granted. God bless. <laughs>